Hello, mortals, and welcome back to Do We Know Them, episode 87. It's me, the witch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What? I know. I don't know what I did not plan that, and it just came out really weird. Oh, I liked it. But then it I nice realized I don't think witches are not mortals, right? Mortals was it was interesting. Did you get that from Lauren the Mortician? Oh my god, <laughs> stop it right now. No, honestly, I don't even look like a witch. I just look like someone who wants to be gothic a little bit, and that's pretty much it. But I want it to be festive because we do have our costumes for you know Monday, but I want it to be festive nonetheless. It's Halloween weekend. You look very pretty. I like it. What are you guys going dressed as to places where people go on Halloween that I surely know about because I do. Yes, I am totally going out to so many things. And that is why I bought the Halloween shirts I've been wearing and not just for these episodes that I immediately change out of right after. Um, Do you like mine today? It's pole dancing skeletons. Do I pretend I've never seen them and didn't help you pick them out on Amazon? You know, <laughs> I do it's like it. It's, it's amazing. Um, Happy Halloween almost or Halloween. Halloween weekend? What is it called? You know how they have names for it? I don't know. Happy almost Halloween. Happy almost Halloween. Happy episode 87. Yes, that's <laughs> the most important part. There is no like Halloween theme to this episode at all. Like this is just a regular episode. So don't get too excited. I mean, neither was there last year on our Halloween episode. We were talking about Travis Scott. What was, I was that? I just going to say, were we supposed to, like, what would they be? Like haunted store? I don't, <laughs> we already have a hard enough time finding topics sometimes. I don't know. We're going to find Halloween themed ones. No, no, you're right. We're scratching that idea before it even starts. But Today's episode, though, is still a good one because I have a surprise topic for Lily. She's been teasing this. I have no idea what it is, and I don't know if I'm excited or nervous. You know what it really was? Honestly, I was scrolling TikTok, as I do, and I came across this person's thing, and I realized, like, oh, this is not something anybody is talking about. Like, this is just a random find that I just happened to find. Like, this is Jesse Lore. Like, I found this, and nobody else is talking about it, and now it's time to talk about it do we know them that girl's gonna feel bamboozled i'll just tell you that oh god is it just a random person it might be uh, well, what? oh my god so well, are we gonna start with that you're like we're talking about a civilian oh, what? <laughs> what's that oh Oh my God, the fucking cheesecake lady is playing. Oh my God, talk about haunted. I don't know why that- It is a Halloween episode. <laughs> it's haunted by the cheesecake lady. Okay, geez, where do I start? Are you a country music fan? <laughs> you ask that like I haven't known you for a decade. I don't know, you could be one of those people. I feel like I'm one of those people that just likes a broad type, you know, like- Yeah, I mean, I don't not like country music, but I'm not like tuning in or going to Stagecoach. Yeah, okay, what's Stagecoach? It's like the country Coachella. It's supposed to be really fun. I should go. I think they have a lot of course like. I've never been, they definitely, they definitely do. So I've never been to that, but I have been to a chili cook-off in Florida and that was wild. And I passed out while eating a blooming onion because I was so hammered. Oh, I love a good blooming onion. Chili's used to have the awesome blossom, but they took that off the fucking menu too. It really made my stomach hurt. And imagine having the shits in a porta potty. I won't even go further than that. But anyway, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Halloween episode. <laughs> It's just a generally cursed episode, I'll tell you that. So I was scrolling and this came onto my For You page. This is all I saw, right? It's a guy on stage. That's, I didn't know who it was like by looking. And then it's a caption that says, when I surprised my husband at his concert, he spotted me and jumped off stage to give me a kiss. And then it shows him in concert and she's like, front obviously <laughs> and whatever I, I don't it's literally him getting off stage and walking towards her so that i was like oh okay period then i find out that sam hunt do you know who sam hunt is i know uh, the name right the house party i don't know who sam hunt is that good so i'm just to say yeah <laughs> Well, I couldn't pick them out of a crowd, but I know some of the songs, yes. Right? So I went on her page and I realized, oh my God, this is his wife. And I love coming across like athletes' wives or like certain things like that. And then they start showing like day in the life, like she did this one recently. So for everybody that's been asking, this is a typical day of a country star wife. I wake up, have my coffee. I enjoy the sunrise. Um, Sam's gonna watch the baby so I can go get my hair done. My hairdresser is coming over. She's gonna put some more foils in my hair and lighten my hair up. Yeah, I know, I used to have dark hair a couple years ago, but now I'm going blonde. She's the best, she's been doing my hair forever, literally forever. Um, so yeah, she comes over, she puts some foils in, does my hair so I can get on point for tonight. Um, Sam has a show in Ohio. So we take our private jets and go to Ohio for his show tonight. Um, when we land, we 
Went to a cute little Italian place. It was super nice, super cute. Um, and then after lunch... Did she say Italian? Um, head back to the hotel. I thought there was a weird accent on that, yes. You get the gist, right? No, yeah, I'm life. getting weird vibes. What are you about to tell me? <laughs> you know what I love? Is I'm taking she, you on the journey. I went on, bitch. Not, this isn't so his wife. buckle up and wife. put on your seatbelt. The private jet thing was what threw me off because Sam Hunt's big, but I don't feel like he's private jetting to concerts like the day of. Oh, really? You know what I thought was weird about that when I first saw it? It was like a movie footage, almost like that had been, you know what I mean? Like, what was that part of a music video or something? I actually thought it was like B-roll of a music video possibly that she was in. And I was like, oh, Or it looks like documentary style or like, yeah. Right. And it turns out she's a cheerleader for something. I haven't yet figured out what, but she's like a cheerleader. So I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. You know, like these stars always date cheerleaders and whatnot. And she has a lot of footage of him, obviously, in concert and stuff and what they do. And she's always in a different location and she's always doing some crazy shit. And when I Googled Sam Hunt wife, that's her name, it's Hannah. So I was like, okay, well, period, that's her. So for the ones I've been asking, this is a typical day of a country star wife when your husband is on the road and you're gonna go visit him for show. I wake up, have my coffee, come out here to our balcony, and enjoy the view. Then I go in, get ready, pack, and then the driver picks me up. And then I need another coffee. <laughs> so I need another coffee before I go to the airport. Then we go to the airport, and we take our private jets to um, wherever it is he's performing. Today we're going to go to Florida. It's also my best friend's 40th birthday, so I'm going to see but her for a little one bit. Wasn't. Before the she had showed like almost like iPhone footage of the private jet and the runway, but then it cut to like the movie footage. Yeah, yeah. Well, and also even that she says it's our private jet. No, celebrities don't own private jets. They'll like charter them for the day. But. Right. Um, land, and then I go to the mall. I get her a nice little birthday present. We rented a yacht for the day. Um, celebrated, had some cake. After I was like, I need to work out. So I went rollerblading, had a nice hour workout, good cardio there. After I got ready, met my husband at a show. Hi, Sam. Bye, Sam. As he's performing. After we had dinner at the nicest restaurant I've ever been to in Florida. It was super nice. Like, so beautiful. And then... Like, she seems like she has money, and, like, she's she's doing things. It's not like she's just but in her house. But he's noticeably also not in the videos, aside from the concert footage, when he doesn't even acknowledge her. <laughs> Perhaps. Anyway, okay. There was a... I want to find it, but I can't find it. I don't know where the fuck it is. It was, like, a video of both of his brothers. So, the, Sa the Hunt brothers, I guess, is what they... I don't... Isn't that a pizza place? Anyway, whatever. It was both of them. And she was saying that they were going to like start a dating show soon or something. And there was a comment on that video. And it said, what the fuck are you talking about? Basically, like the Hunt brothers are both married. Like, what do you mean? And I saw that comment. And that's when something just clicked in my head. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. What do you mean? Like, what is she talking about? Why would you joke about your brother's in-law having a dating show if they're both married, right? Unless they're getting like divorced. Oh, like he has two additional, he, two other brothers. He's not included. Yes. And it was like them at a bar. And she was saying that they were going to start like a dating show soon. And someone called her out and was like, what the fuck are you talking about anyway? Well, what, what if I told you this woman is literally a crazy person pretending to be his wife. His wife is not her. That is not his wife. Do you want to see his real wife? She uses footage of his children, him with his children, and puts it in that video of him with the guitar and that baby that's his is not her kid. Like, she doesn't even know this guy. She just is a super fan of his. And I don't even know if her real name is... Oh, look, Instagram, Amanda. So her real name is not even Hannah. And then I felt really stupid when I clicked on the Brovo picture because it's the worst Photoshop I've ever seen in my life. But oh my I didn't God. know. Because the thing is, is like, I could see if it was like a, a joke, but I those videos don't feel like they're supposed to be jokes. Okay, well, honestly, if it was someone joking and it was an obvious joke and it was something that I was like, oh, okay, whatever, like maybe I wouldn't do it, but whatever, I wouldn't have even brought it up. This is someone who has people in her comments literally saying behind every man, there's a strong woman. And she's like, yeah, with like the emoji of like the, the muscles and just like accepting all of these people, which I would say it's about an 80-20 ratio. 80% 80 of people think that she's telling the truth. And like, hey, I didn't even know Sam Hunt was married. And she accepts it all. She never, ever, ever admits to the fact that she's lying. She has used videos of his children. She is a single <laughs> woman from what I understand. I don't really know her actual 
deal in life. I didn't care enough to look into it. All I knew is that she is like, if that was me, I would be furious. Like if I was his wife, this is his real wife, Hannah. I wouldn't even be as much furious as I would be like, we need to get a restraining order. We need to call the police, get her away. Like, dude, does she go to all of his concerts? She goes to enough of them. And then like, you're going to tell me that it's a joke. But like, it's I'm not sure funny. It's number one, not funny. It's super invasive. And number three, you're literally saying shit like he came down on the stage to kiss me. You know, you're using videos of their child. Like that is fucking weird. The kids is by far the worst part, I think. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, I I'm just flabbergasted. You have Sam Hunt with his kid in his big ass house. Then you cut to probably your mom doing your hair in, in your bathroom. Like, it's just it's very okay, weird. I thought that was a little odd too. And also, even the way that she turned like, oh, this is the day in the life of a country star wife. Do you think country star wives refer to themselves as that? They could. Oh my God. And is that why she's like, I used to have brown hair? Yes. But she did used to have brown hair is the scariest part. She did. So it's like, did you do that? Because oh, his wife I, has I brown like hair. This. Right? This is... Look at this. Look at her bio. Sam Hunt with two rings. I saw that when you first clicked on it. Okay. It took me 30 minutes at least to like realize that she was lying. So the fact that people, <laughs> I mean, of course it did. Well, well, no bitch, because literally, okay. If you go to the comments of that first one that we saw, well, okay. The top one now is says you are for sure not his wife, but I didn't see that one. <laughs> Someone says, Sigh, my husband can't even find me in Walmart. <laughs> if that's not the sweetest damn thing ever. Like some people are understanding that this is not real because I'm assuming like the people that do understand it, they're like, hey, I met Hannah and him in concert and basically bitch, you're not her type of thing. Look at this, God, to be his wife. Like I have always wondered who he was married to. His songs are my kids' favorites. I bet you she banks on the fact that like people are probably like me where the, it's like I know who he is and I've listened to songs, but I'm not like... Dude, I'm sorry. Like, even if someone was doing this to me, like pretending to be my husband, I would shut that shit down so severely. Be and I maybe well, they don't want to get involved. Though. Well, I mean, I would like publicly shame her. <gasps> Legitimately, it's not like I'm gonna sue you or I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the legalities are here. But I would definitely like publicly put on my Instagram story, hi, this is not my wife. I would appreciate it if you do not come to my shows anymore and do not disrespect my partner. Like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, because then also like one, yeah, it's not uh <laughs> If it is a joke, quote unquote, it's not funny. And um, two, that it doesn't seem like she strays. It's a long running joke. <laughs> She's really committed to the bit. <laughs> okay. And it's not just a long running joke. It is someone that has taken time to stitch together things no, that take time to weird edit. And creepy. Yeah. And to make people believe it. You're not just like day in the life of someone who, I don't know. It, it wasn't a one off thing. No. It's someone like you genuinely, there is a very large part of you that wants people to believe that you're actually his wife. Yeah, that's creepy as fuck. And it's beyond fucking creepy. And I don't know if more people like this exist, but if you're someone who's a super fan of a celebrity, number one, pro tip, this will absolutely not make them want to come within 10 feet of you. Like there's just no I was gonna say, guess what? Don't think this is really going to be the way that you actually become his wife. If you thought that that was somehow going to happen, no. um, you can't really manifest that like this. <laughs> and also it's just like when you couple in those jokes, quote unquote, with how many shows she goes to constantly, she travels to go to his shows, ma'am. You, it's you alarming. Me. Yeah, you scare me a little bit. Like extremely alarming at best. Yeah. <laughs> What's the one next to the 9.5 million with 2.3? Jesus Christ. It's a video of Brett Young, who I'm not familiar with, but I'm assuming he's a country artist. And it says, Brett Young spotted me before my husband, Sam Hunt. He didn't ruin the surprise though. Maybe because he doesn't know who you are because you're a crazy, <laughs> crazy bitch. Who are you again, ma'am? Like literally nobody, who's gonna know? I, I'm so confused. Oh my God. And someone says, I'm so confused. What was the surprise? And she said, check out my other videos. What's wrong with you? It's just very off-putting. And I was just shooketh that I came across this all on my own. Like it was not like something that, I mean, it <laughs> You're did so go. You're so proud of yourself. I am. It did go viral, but like the post didn't go viral as like someone was exposing her for that. It was like this whole journey I went on for, I'm, t I'm not even joking, like 30 minutes before I was like, oh my God, she's- You did she's, some deep diving. I did. What's the one with that airplane that says paparazzi? always flying. Oh, it's literally a filter of an airplane. <laughs> I think that one could be seen obviously as a See, someone commented on it said, LOL, I love this page. So like some people do think I think it's some a people funny get joke. it and some people think it's a funny joke. To that I say like, honestly, even this would be weird, but if he was single and you just wanted to pretend that you were like in a relationship with him, that is still extremely creepy. 
Okay, but you at least would not be disrespecting his life partner and mother to his children. Like you just don't fucking go there. I mean, the footage of his kids. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, this is worse than catfishing because it's like at least catfishing you'd be using her. Like you're pretending that you are her. Like that's just the most weird, backward shit. And I don't care what joke she thinks she's telling. Girl, this is not normal. I need you to shut this account down. Yeah, we need to reevaluate your sense of humor and go back to the drawing Everything. board for the next time. <laughs> I'm so triggered by this. But anyway, I, listen, I know she's not like a super large creator. How many followers does she have? She has 81. Well, she has 80. Hold up. It's more than me. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, she got more than me. Wait a second. She has more than us both on TikTok. So she has 81,000 I mean, followers. We don't post, Let's but. See. Oh, her account's private. So when it comes to her, she wants some privacy. That's what she wants. But when she's Hannah, she can really tell the world who she is. Sam Hunt's wife. You know what? This is so fucking weird. What has the internet come to that people are like, period. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I don't know. Like that's, that's really next level. That's like, I mean, even with catfishing, that blows my mind, especially when people make like whole communities that yeah. they're like all the different accounts. I'm like, oh my God, how do you keep it all straight? I can barely update my own account. But this is just like, one, you have too much time on your hands. Two, you're fucking creepy. Right. And three, that's disrespectful. I want to send you, because I can't zoom in on, on the computer. I need to send you her profile picture. <laughs> I opened it before I knew and I was like damn she looks weird as fuck like kind of squished or something but I didn't <laughs> weird weird that the proportions are a little off with her face I didn't put two and two together at all oh my god <laughs> <laughs> the fact that that wasn't the dead giveaway I'm like wow I'm really dumb oh my god it's terrible <laughs> it's pretty bad even our worst yearbook AI photos were better than that. but but I will say although I didn't exactly put two and two together even if this is a joke, bitch, you photoshopped his wife out of this picture. Like, that's sick. And, girl, you couldn't even get the one without the watermark on it. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Wasn't too long. Just needed to uh, air out. Like, if it's one of those things. If I had to see it, you had to see it. That's what, that's what we do here. You know, I appreciate it. That's right up my alley. I don't want to suffer through shit by myself. Like, I already told my Fortnite friends. Like, who else am I going to tell? You guys. Your Fortnite friends. Do you have like dedicated just Fortnite friends? I don't know. It's just my brother, Alex, and my cousin, Benji. Oh, it's like your friends that also play Fortnite. Well, it's literally one friend and then two family members. So <laughs> it's, it's a tight knit group. <laughs> well, that's it for that topic. Okay. And whatever you think about it, I understand. But we do have another one. And that one's not going to be so fun because I think this is so fucking disgusting, upsetting. Oh my God. I have so many thoughts about this. And that is yeah. about Eugenia Cooney. And before we even I mean I know your mind's like again because not us but like the internet collectively always talks about Eugenia like she has been a very very strong talking point on the internet if you don't know Eugenia's backstory honestly all you have to do is YouTube Eugenia Cooney there's no shortage of content there like there's tons and tons of deep dives and people looking into pretty much every aspect and every controversy she's ever been in we'll basically give you a very very brief synopsis of her and then go into present day and why we're talking about her today because I do feel like even though we talk about Jeffree Star and things quite a bit I mean not like a ton but we've talked about him enough and nothing happens like he just continues on his little fucking lives and making money people send him like lions and shit i'm like do you guys know he's a fucking millionaire like no i don't know what that means how much money is that like four hundred dollars yeah. are you joking yes it's one of the biggest Why? tiktok gifts and he gets one like every single day i don't know i guess they want to see his reaction they want to make sure because he's being sent so many gifts even the smaller ones really add up they want to make sure that they're like noticed or something i don't fucking know but it pisses me off so bad oh geez where do we start uh how would you sum up eugenia in like I don't know, Spark Notes version. I know it's hard. Honestly, I'm not super familiar with her backstory aside from the fact that we have actively chosen not to cover her because the main concern with her is for trigger warning. If you don't know who Eugenia Cooney is, she has received a lot of backlash and also equal parts, I would say, concern for I don't even know how many years now, but several for being a content creator that has a very obvious ED and denies having one and says that she's fine. And there's been like petitions to get her off the internet because people think that it's a really harmful, I don't even know how to describe it because it's so yeah, there's a lot it's like there. You you feel so bad, but then you're also like, uh, she's putting herself out there for millions of people to see, and you don't know what kind of effect that's having on the people watching. Yeah. The thing is that she's a mixture as well of 
a content creator, so making content unrelated to her ED, despite her appearance being very obviously concerning to a lot of people. And it's not just like how people come for like Lily. Hey, you got too skinny, like shit like that. It's not that. It's like, this is dangerous. Something's happening. Like literally you are skin and bone. It's not like speculation. No, it's, it's, it's not. like there's something wrong. There is. Like there is no way that someone would be this thin without having an ED, which she obviously has and has vaguely. I mean, Shane Dawson was basically like pulling teeth to get her to even admit that she had a problem. But that was when she was in recovery when Shane Dawson and did his little documentary on her. You know, she basically knew she had a problem because she did go to a facility and very briefly was in remission from her ED and then relapsed worse than ever to the point that I look at her and I'm like, how does everything, like, how does it not hurt? hurt to exist like literally like just pain because you see people talking about it who have had really severe eds i've had an ed when i was in high school but nowhere near as severe and i never actually got into any like physical pain from it but people say that if you get thin enough you actually do get physical pain like it hurts to sit and then they say oh that's why I, eugenia is always imagine. shifting you know what i mean because she's sitting on bone there's no fat and barely any muscle. I mean, I didn't even actually think about that aspect of it. Yeah, 100%. But then also, she's also clearly not getting the nutrients that you would need, that everything would not be functioning the way it should be because she's not feeding her body to do it. I know that there's also been speculation of like, maybe she has like an illness or something. Maybe it isn't an eating disorder. And I'm not here to say she has this or she has like, I, I don't know, something is wrong. No, I think that that's completely debunkable in my personal opinion because of the fact that she is very adamant and there is so much video proof of her saying there is nothing wrong with me. Like I am not here promoting anything or doing anything. Like I'm perfectly healthy. I'm perfectly fine. I'm happy guys. Nobody worry. And and that is not talk of someone who is chronically ill or has like a terminal illness. That is someone who is denying an ED. Yeah, and like as someone that gets, I mean, not as much anymore, but like has gotten a lot of comments in the past about people thinking I have an eating disorder, which I do not, absolutely not. That has never been a thing. I have been very open then in saying like, I first of all, didn't lose as much weight as people claim that I did and they're dramatic. But then also I have been very upfront about like, I have had chronic pain and I've had, I've been like depressed about it and like had mental health things that like, there's other reasons that you can get skinny besides having an eating disorder. So I think if literally the entire internet was coming at you saying you had an eating disorder and you didn't, and it was because of another reason, I don't know why you would be like super private about that and not yeah and i don't want this to come across like i i want to be very clear of our intention here we're not like here to nitpick her body and that's not why we're talking about this at, at all like this is a genuine number one concern of her state at this current point in time and also other creators on this platform's involvement in it. And that's pretty much the catalyst that has gotten us here. Yeah, and I think that the people we're gonna be talking about absolutely, like they need to face fucking repercussions, whether it be, I don't know, being deplatformed on a certain level. Like I just genuinely feel like if you're using your platform to push someone and joke about where they're at when they're this close to their life ending, you are fucked. Like that is how I feel about this. And I'm very, very passionate. So it's not to be like, oh my God, Eugenia this, Eugenia that. Although I will say she has had her fair share of controversy. She's known as this really like positive light and like, oh, everything is fine and whatever. There are moments and I have a couple of them where her mask like kind of slips and you see like, oh, that's kind of bullshit. You know what I mean? Which everyone probably assumed, but she is not Miss Perfect either. There is, I remember a situation with like one of her mods where her mod, one of her mods was like a uh, preying on the younger people in her discord like there's been weird shit happening and she's not perfect i'm not here to like talk about her past controversies but she is a human being and she does have a very large platform that's getting even larger now on TikTok. Where is this going to end? I mean, I feel like we all know where it's going to end and it's just concerning and we're all watching it and just not knowing what we can do. I feel like that's most of her comments of people who are like, I'm scared. I don't know how to do anything. Like you see Jacqueline Glenn, who was friends with her and tried to get her into a, you remember that whole thing? No. Oh my God. YouTuber Jacqueline Glenn, who is a commentary style YouTuber, was friends with Eugenia Cooney. She got together with the therapist that Shane used to have, that kind of like a- Katie Morton. Katie Morton. Jesus. She is interesting. She's not even, like she's not at all qualified to talk about eating disorders. I think she's like a family counselor or like something like that. Like she doesn't even, I don't know. She does, she's not qualified to do whatever Shane had her doing, which is calling people well, sociopaths. That, yeah, Shane's documentary was really not 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> but Jacqueline Glenn got together with her and basically Kate, there was proof that Jacqueline Glenn showed that Katie Morton was supportive of Jacqueline Glenn basically having an intervention with her friends and trying to get help for Eugenia Cooney. And honestly, I fucking get it because like what? You're scared for your friend. And yeah. it turned into a disaster where the mom started freaking out. Well, that's a whole nother it, part of yeah. this. Yeah, well, the mom is definitely in on all of this. And it was fucking crazy. It backfired. And then basically Katie Morton turned on Jacqueline Glenn and was basically telling, like, on Eugenia's side. It was very, very weird. This was a whole, like, timeline that we missed, okay? Well, I didn't miss it in real time, but we missed it because we didn't have this podcast. So that aside, there have been people who have tried to help. As I said, like, people have done petitions to, like, get her yep. kicked off platforms and stuff. And I think it gets into weird territory because you're like trying to deplatform someone for just like existing. She's not actively promoting EDs or well, something. Like that's uh, not, it's that's, not like her content. Listen, I don't think that she should be deplatformed because she has a severe ED. That's not why I think she should be deplatformed. I think she should be deplatformed because there is plenty of evidence, in my opinion, of her doing things that are troubling. Like, flashing the camera like her underwear are showing by accident yeah. way too many times promoting eds in the sense of not just how she looks but she'll say things like oh my god like this sweater's just so big on me guys right like this one like she'll talk about things or body check constantly or show herself off in a manner that it's like dude come on what is this like this isn't even just someone who's existing and has a severe ed you're acting weird i feel weird about the whole thing just because Me it's too. so complicated because also like that is an illness a severe one yeah um i do want to show a few things before we get into this if you don't mind just um kind of one video of her mom that i'm like ma'am please for the love of god well so and one thing that was in shane's docu it was it just one video or is it multiple i think it was one i don't know if he pointed it out i think he did or if viewers did but there were like walks on the doors that were super sketchy looking as if she was being locked into rooms or like locked into the house. Oh. And I know that even just recently, I saw a clip and I don't know when it was from, but it was like something was really cool about the moon and everyone in her life kept telling her to go look at it. And she tried to go outside and her mom like wouldn't let her. Oh, she's awake. I woke her up. Hey, mom. Did you hear about the moon? Is it that? Everyone's telling me I need to go see it. Oh, okay. All right. Let's look through. The, we're just going to look through the window, guys. Is it that amazing? Everyone's like was begging me to see it. Sorry, I woke you up. Oh, Wally wants to, guy. Guys, we're gonna go up back upstairs. I wanna say hi to Wally. Yeah, there was also one where, I don't know who, to, I think it was Alex that told me that he heard something about her having like bells on her door. And then like, mm -hmm. there was one where she opened the door, which it could be like a trinket or something. You know what I mean? That she just has in yeah. the door. But plenty of times on live, like her parents, or her mom specifically, have gotten like upset when she like leaves the room at a certain hour. It's like, go back to your room. Yeah. It's like, that's how the moon thing was too. Yeah, it was like, she wasn't allowed to go step outside to look at the moon because her mom was like, no, you're not allowed to go outside. Regardless of what's happening, that's fucking it's weird. Alarming. She's not 12. She's not even 20. She's, how old is she? She's older. Well, and then you have to wonder like if it's being controlled when she can literally like walk out of a property that she's living in, like what else is being controlled? Right. So this is a video of her and her mom. How is your, your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? Exactly. She happens she's... to be skinny mini, but she does take Exactly. Mini, We're all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. Thank you for the two of your bits, Picado. I would also like to point out that there's footage and like picture, like Eugenia didn't, it's not like she has some rare condition where she's always looked like this. Like she 100% has looked healthy at one point. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess everyone's definition of like healthy is different. So I, we're not like, but this is literally and like not, this is not to come for her like physically, like, is she pretty? Is she not like nothing like that? She is physically right now, literally skin and bone. You can see her entire skeleton. That is not okay. Another thing is that she's like coughing. She's having coughing fits, which oh could be God. a sign of congestive heart failure. 
I just started like coughing like crazy. Sorry. Because a second ago, my throat was like getting really irritated. <sighs> and it's literally like fucking alarming. She's not a skinny mini that just is built that way. Yeah, that's disturbing. Yeah, like I would never, oh, Jesus, even if someone was super skinny, I would never speculate on an ED. This is not speculation. No. Like this is not that. And yes, it is a mental health issue. And I think at this point, she's so bonded with it that it feels like her safe place. Like when people attack that, they're attacking her best friend almost. That's all she knows. Like I genuinely feel like, that's what she thinks makes her happy. That's what she thinks keeps her life the way that she wants it. And like, I don't know how to break her from that, but it's certainly not by hanging out with fucking Jeffree Star and Rich Lux, I'll tell you that. And so that's the thing is like, the reason we haven't talked about it in the past is not because it wasn't very clear there was a problem, but more so that what is discussing it more gonna do. But now the reason we find it even more upsetting is that she has found these friendships with creators that seem to be exploiting it more than she is. <laughs> right, yeah, for sure. But before we show that, I do have a few more videos of her. This is when she's reacting to people wishing that she was back in recovery, which is, that's intense because that could be really triggering in itself for people with an ED, but. I wish Eugenia could be like this again. Well, too bad, because she's not probably ever gonna be like that again. So, so too bad, sorry. I was like actually completely miserable at that point. Like I hope I'll never be like that again, honestly. That's fucking heartbreaking and so discouraging to hear for anyone that's like, that just wants better for her. You know what I mean? It's like, of course, with the severity of the AD and, and just probably other things behind it, dude, of course that felt like the most miserable time in your life when you started recovering. Like that's gonna be that way for probably the rest of your life, you're gonna be having a really tricky relationship with yourself, how you look, how you perceive yourself. Like that is gonna be a lifelong battle. I still struggle with my body and my God, I see one comment about my body, I'm spiraling for hours. And I literally, I cannot go on a diet because it is so triggering to me because of how much I was bad to myself in high school. And so like, I just either start binging or I just restrict way too much. Like I'm just, I, I have a very unhealthy relationship with food and like, I can't imagine her. So I get why she felt the most miserable, but it's also so discouraging to hear that. It's like, she's never gonna get better. Notice she says miserable, not like unhealthy. Like, no. I know, for example, like even, um, remember that Ariana Grande did that whole video where she was like, let's not comment on people's bodies. You don't right. know what they're going through. When you thought I looked my best, I was actually at my most unhealthy. And whether or not that's true or not, we're not here to talk about Ariana Grande. But she doesn't even phrase it like that. She just says that she was miserable. And as you said, like, yeah, well, I mean, that makes sense given what's going on. But oh my God, I just like, the fact that she lives with her mom and that her mom does enable it maybe more is so heartbreaking. And I just, I, I can't understand doing that as a parent and then lying about it. Well, obviously that's why people are like, is this a Munchausen by proxy sin like yeah. situation? I don't know what this is because how is your mother going to sit there and be like, no, oh, I see her, I live with her, she eats fine, she's good. She's just a little skinny mini. Even the way she says it is disgusting. It's like, ma'am, what the fuck are you on right now? We have one more video and then we'll get into the Jeffrey and and rich like stuff but it says eugenia letting her mask down for three minutes calling chat delusional protect the children from her dangers <sighs> guys if you're so worried about the children i'm not trying to do anything to the children okay i don't think i'm the biggest threat to the children out there i think like maybe some people if you're a parent just should try to just go and like be good parents you know like, I'm not trying to do anything to the children, okay? <sighs> am I wearing a wig? No, I am not. No, this is my real hair. So, um, no, I am not. All right, what time is it, guys? Let me see. Okay, it's like 9.26, a liar. <laughs> Guys, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wasn't my hair all falling out and thinning before? Wait a second, have we gone back to to now, now, now I'm lying that my hair is real? Is it? I love how we just alternate between. Yeah, your hair is thinning, you're lying that it's not thinning. Oh, it's a wig, it's a wig, we know it's a wig. It's like, okay, it's exciting. So that's gonna be starting, like I said, 11 p.m. Eastern. Um, I see such a mixture of comments. I see some of you guys that are so sweet. So big thank you to you guys. I love you guys. And some of you guys that are just so angry. You're just like, yes. 
Oh my gosh. Why do my arms look like that? I don't know. I don't really know, guys. Why does anyone look the way they look, I guess, right? No, not right. These and just like cute things. I do sleep on my couch, yeah. No, I know some people think that's like really weird. I know. Where's my diaper? Oh, I don't wear one. Sorry to let you down. You guys just love to come in here and ask me that. But I don't I haven't worn one since I was like literally like a baby. Hate to tell you, sorry. We've seen it, then you're delusional. You guys like to call me delusional by me. <laughs> the thing is, whatever you think you see in, I don't know what you could have possibly seen. Because I know what I'm wearing. I know there's no diaper on, so whatever you think you saw it was not a diaper. What's interesting about that is I guess that's a rumor started because she flashes so often and like in these dresses will lean back and like be in positions where people can see her underwear. Maybe she's wearing a type of underwear or something that looks kind of like, you know, adult diapers kind of look like underwears, honestly. So that rumor started and instead of literally being like, how the fuck would you know what I wear? Like, there's no way you guys, you know what I mean? She's like, well, I don't know what you think you saw. Like, like she knows she, I feel like she knows she flashes the camera. I don't know why she does it, but her behavior is very, 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 very strange. And then I don't, for our listeners, the people who just listen and do not watch, there was like a little comment on the screen that was saying that her arm was like kind of like twitching. It didn't look like she was moving. And it no, at all. And then also like she is constantly shifting and what we have shown you is nothing. I'm, I'm not even yeah, joking. Wait, like there's actually, so much. Now that you say that, didn't she literally just like get up and then sit back down? She does that couch? constantly. Oh, she does that constantly. She gets up and there was one clip of her like falling and it takes her so long to get up. There's so many things that if we were to try to just give you a taste of like why everyone is so freaked out and concerned, it would not even be a drop in the bucket. Like there's so much there. But again, this is not a topic we would be talking about if it wasn't for Rich Lux and Jeffree Star. I guess we start with Rich Lux because we talked about this a little bit in the Jeffree Star episode we did, I don't know, a couple episodes episodes back that he goes live a lot, but he goes live a lot with Rich Lux and Eugenia Cooney. They do like a little three-way situation. Which I don't understand how that even began. Well, Jeffrey says that he's been friends with Eugenia Cooney since like MySpace days. Like he's known of her. They've been internet friends okay. for a very, very long time, which makes sense because she's been in like kind of like the goth type of scene that I would see, yeah. although she's a lot younger than him. So I'm like, I don't really understand, but I guess I get it. Quick update here. Apparently, the reason Jesse said this was because Jeffrey himself actually told us that he has been friends with Eugenia for 15 years and also like throws around that she was on his MySpace top eight and all this stuff. Here I see a lot of people asking about my dear friend Eugenia. I've known Eugenia for 15 years. Me and Miss Eugenia, we go bad, girl, okay? This bitch was on my top eight on my MySpace page. Some of you girls weren't even awake when MySpace was up. Y'all were sucking on fucking, fuck, <laughs> y'all were in diapers, okay, with your pacifiers. I didn't really question any of it because I, Eugenia gives like MySpace vibes. I could see how she would be big back then. But the thing is, is that Eugenia is only 29 right now. And if Jeffrey has been friends with her for 15 years, that means that he was friends with her, first of all, when she was 14, which in itself already sounds pretty unrealistic. But then I came across this interview that Eugenia did with Sloan on his podcast, uh, the Let's Get Into It podcast. And I don't know exactly when they filmed it, but the early it looks like it's on his channel is in a trailer that was posted 11 months ago. And in this clip, I mean, I'll just play it for you. One of Shane's like great online friends is Jeffree Star. You know, they've done their collabs. And I've seen you, I think even recently you posted a like a video about his wedding collection. Yeah. What's your relationship with Jeffree? So um, I've actually never met Jeffrey before or anything, but I've been watching him online a really long time and like his videos and stuff. And I think he seems like a really cool person. I think he makes like really great makeup. Are you on the yeah. PR list? I'm not, no. So did you buy it, the recent one? <laughs> yeah, I just didn't, oh my buy, gosh. I just didn't buy the makeup. Does that sound like someone who's been friends with Jeffrey for 15 years? Because call me crazy, doesn't really sound like it to me. And while I don't know how serious he was about the top eight thing, out of curiosity, I look back and I mean, 
I also don't know what date he would have been referring to if he was serious. But any of the web archives that I looked at his MySpace page from like 2007 to 2010, I never saw her on his top eight. It was like Kat Von D and a bunch of musicians. So no Eugenia Cooney in sight. And from Googling it, I can't really find too much proof of Eugenia ever really being big on MySpace. So yeah, do with that information what you will. Uh, for me, I'm going to take it as Jeffrey's absolutely full of shit. So anyway, that's all. Uh, back to the episode. So they've been friends for a long time, apparently. Rich Lux is someone, I don't know when he weaseled his way into being friends with Jeffree Star, but it was, I mean, like he covered Jeffree Star and stuff. And I guess he licked Jeffree's butthole enough that it worked out. I was just going to say, how, like, did did he do positive coverage on Jeffree? And that's like, because doesn't Jeffree hate most drama channels? Well, okay. So before Dramageddon, like any of them, it was a thing and it was normalized for people to try to befriend different drama channels to kind of now navigate the coverage around them. Sway it to be positive, yeah. Yeah, that was much more common back then. People don't really fall for it too much nowadays, so it's not as prevalent. Back then, it used to be a running joke that Jeffree Star would have people on his payroll. Like, that's what they would call it. Oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. you got them yeah. on a payroll. So I think that during that time, I guess that's when Rich Lux and him got together. I'm not entirely sure, but what I do know is that there's no way Rich Lux would be as close to Jeffree if he didn't kiss his literal ass. So he maybe has covered Jeffree Star, but Rich Lux, in my opinion, has no integrity whatsoever as a journalist, if you want to call him that. That's very generous. But this, what we're about to show you, was sent in actually by one of our listeners. And I was, I felt like throwing up, honestly. I just don't even understand how you would get to the place that you think that this is something you should do or that this is okay or that I, I just don't get it. You would have to be Rich Lux to get it, I guess. I don't know much about Rich Lux. Honestly, even one of the first times I ever heard of him was when he didn't get let into um, Ace Fest, which was actually the very beginning of our podcast. Oh yeah, we covered that. I've been seeing him more and more because of these lives with Eugenia Cooney and people keep tagging us and stuff and I see random clips and it's usually just him posting exclusives about stuff Jeffrey said. But <laughs> this, I could couldn't, I don't even know how it's real. Yeah, I think that going live with Eugenia Cooney at this point in her journey in life is problematic in itself. I think this is a different breed. So we'll just play it. Trigger warning, just letting you know right now. They were having a battle. Um, so a battle is basically two creators go on the screen, they battle. The amount of gifts that are sent, the likes, things like that boost you up in your numbers. And obviously this is an incentive for people to give you more gifts and stuff. So people like to do that. Such a weird concept to begin with. I know, right? I don't know. TikTok is weird. But in this clip, Eugenia lost the battle. And when she lost, she pretended to faint, I guess, or die is a better way to put it because that's what it looks like do i just call the police that yeah her address is one two three sesame street she's she's unconscious right now on tiktok live uh-huh gypsy k5506 five, five knocked her out and rad does she like she's breathing chat is she breathing chat yes or no oh the employees came up and they were saying hold on let me call her mom Probably going to lose their job because you she doesn't pick up the phone. You guys, who do I call? Who do I call? Fucking gross, bro. Oh my god. You guys, is she breathing? Nine one one. The little emoji there that is a stop sign was put on by the listener that sent this like screen grab in, and that is because her underwear were showing. Again, she's laying there pretending to be dead as then Rich Lux is pretending to call people. One of them being her, her mom, which is obviously a fucking horrendous impact on her life and obviously in on this in some weird way that we obviously don't understand, but she's in on it somehow. This is so disgusting for Rich Lux to sit here and think that he's doing any sort of joke. Like we're, we talked about our last topic, like, oh, that's not a joke. No, this is like so beyond not a joke. You are spineless and you have no moral compass whatsoever. I don't care if you're actually real life friends with her because that's what Jeffrey is going to start claiming now. She's uh, under Jeffrey 
boundaries care right now. Even if you want to claim that you are, you're fucking not because no friend does this. I was gonna say, like, I don't even know if this applies, but like, you have lost the plot so much. Oh my God. Like, what the fuck are you doing? No, it's not, he really has no moral compass. It's just chasing likes, views, which is why he does the coverage that he does in the way that he does it because it's literally just like, eh, whatever, can I make money here? Can I make money there? Which is what gives drama channels in general a horrendous fucking name because everybody just thinks that we're all the same. Nobody cares about anybody's reputation and we're all just like, ah, whatever gets us money and views because of the rich luxes in this community. Like in my opinion, and I've seen Dustin Daly say shit like this, which he is another drama channel that used to be friends with Rich Lux and he has denounced him entirely. And he's like, we're not in the same fucking universe, basically. Like you just don't do shit in any way that is like humane. Like you're just fucking putting shit out so irresponsibly. But this is beyond even that. I don't even know what this is. Like it, it's so fucking weird. I don't either. And it's just on Eugenia's part, like the whole flashing thing that's like disturbs me. And then you have Rich Lux being a fucking, I don't even know what, but then that's not even where this ends because they have this battle, whatever. Honestly, it didn't even get the coverage that I think it should have gotten. <laughs> like, I think he should have been absolutely exposed for doing this. Like, obviously the people who were live saw it and they get a good amount of viewers, but it really almost happens so often. And like things like this happen so often. Say, I mean, people at don't this care. point, I think people also just try and avoid watching because it's so Maybe. hard to watch anything with her at this point. Yeah, honestly, I get that because I kind of avoid content from her too. Well, and, and a lot of people think that that's something that you should be doing is actively avoiding her because she does continue to do it for the attention, seemingly. Now, I want to just juxtapose that with Rich Lux's most recent coverage of Eugenia Cooney because Eugenia Cooney is at Jeffree Star's house staying with him, which is interesting for a few reasons. Number one, why? I've never seen her leave her house. She doesn't get to even go out to see the fucking moon, like we were saying. So it's very, yeah. very interesting that she How even she got to fly. Wyoming? We're not sure, but we have some insight from like Jeffrey, of course, going live and spilling beans. Uh, but this is Rich Lux's coverage of it. Does he have the exclusive? Of course. Jeffrey Star gets emotional when he starts talking about Eugenia Cooney and when he meets her after coming back from a full face of makeup tutorial he did with her he steps away from the camera has a moment with the chat he comes back into the room and sits down and hugs eugenia cooney let me show you what he had to say here we go just met her because i've had some tiktokers at my house recently but me and miss eugenia we go bad girl okay this bitch was on my top eight on my myspace page some of you girls weren't even awake when myspace was up y'all were sucking on fucking Fuck, y'all were in diapers and getting with your pacifiers when I was starting my little internet career. So just know that my friend that's in my house means a lot to me. And no one's gonna disrespect her. And she's alone a lot of the time because it's hard for her to trust people. So we're changing that. We got her out of the house. She's surrounded by me and all my beautiful friends that I have around me and my team in Wyoming. And that's what's most important, you know? I haven't seen her this happy in a while, and it's just really nice to, like, laugh off camera. Y'all, when we went off live last night, we were giggling, howling, and crying laughing for, like, at least a few hours. And then I was like, okay, time for sleep. Um, and it was nice to see her get some really nice rest. When she's sleeping, she looks like a little angel, you guys. It's so, it's so cute, it's so endearing. My, my, my sweet girl. What? This is the weirdest shit I've ever... Of course, drink your Red Bull. Of course. Shauna, Eugenia loves you. She says, thank you for always being real. It's hard to find people who are just giving and caring on this app. Um, and Eugenia has gifted so much of her own money to creators, to small people, to strangers. Um, I've seen it with my own eyes and it's just really beautiful to watch. So I love it. And yes, she's here for a while, you guys. I'm not telling you when she's going home, but she's here for a while. She didn't just come for a day to like give me a high five and leave. <laughs> you know? No, I don't know. I just want to pause really quick for you to just acknowledge for a second. The sheer amount of gifts he's being sent. He's not even acknowledging them because every second he gets another gift. I don't get it. He's just getting thousands of dollars from doing whatever the fuck this is. Like, it's bizarre. The fucking alien that, that doesn't do anything. Okay, she's in control of her own life. 
I know that's really hard to believe from what the internet has projected and what you've seen. She life runs her own life. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it, bitch. Okay, she pays her own bills, y'all. She pays her own bills. It's not just like people speculating, though. There is video proof because she has gone live for so many years of her mom being super controlling, of her leaving her bedroom. So what are you even fucking talking about? Like, the internet's projecting? You know what projecting means? Like, I hate when people use terms that they have no fucking idea. Like, I can leave my house wherever the fuck I want. Like, who, what are you talking about? That's not projection. It's observations. What is he going off? Like, she pays her own bills. Yeah, no shit. All she does is sit in her room and make content yep. are you kidding i bet she does pay her and her parents bills like i'm positive about that ding ding like what the fuck is going on and what is he talking about watching her sleep i don't i haven't seen this whole thing and i was like oh jesus what the fuck she's not a puppy she's his little girl like please never say that again thank you it's so weird Ugh. oh okay. jesus suck on that she pays her own fucking bills she's a normal ass person like me we just all have our own problems and demons. Can y'all imagine what you're currently going through right now? If it's amplified in front of millions of people and then those millions of people degrade you every day? I could never. So then you're acknowledging that she has something going on at the same time as telling everyone that they're projecting. Yes, but he's also, so basically what he's saying in my eyes there in that clip was like, her mom is not holding her hostage. Yes, she obviously does have a severe ED, but like she's here with me and my friends, which I'm like, Jeffrey, with peace and love, I cannot imagine a human being I would want to be around less when I'm going through a horrendous time than you. Like there is no nobody on this earth. Like it's just genuinely like not comforting to hear that. But anyway, he's saying that. And then he's also like not acknowledging that. Yes, I understand having a lot of people speculate on things is really tough. You constantly are putting yourself out there. She has made so many hours and hours and hours of content since I can remember. She was on every live streaming platform. Before TikTok, she was live streaming. I think it was on, was it you now or was it Twitch? She's constantly been live streaming her life for hours and hours and hours for years now. She has profited greatly off of that. So it's like, I understand she is struggling, but like people aren't just like showing up at her house and just being like, oh my God, look at you. Like you're no, like there's a reason people have so much access to her life to be able to even pick it apart. Like, it's just like, you're acting like people are so unwarranted. People, from what I see, 90% of people are just super concerned. Yeah, that's the thing. I was gonna say, yes, I'm sure there are people being complete fucking assholes For sure. and insensitive. And I, I, that always is gonna be the case. But the majority of things that I've heard people say are not trying to be hurtful. It's that they think that there is a serious, serious problem going on and that they don't wanna watch her just continue to deteriorate in front of their eyes. Yeah, and then for him to just be like fucking burp and be like, so suck on that. Like, it's just, oh God, Jeffree Star. And not to mention he kind of acts like, oh, she's safe with me. Literally, I just saw a clip going viral the other day where it, I mean, you don't see him actually inhale anything, but like, it's very, very clear that he's doing like a bump right off camera. Okay, I actually pulled that clip because I wanted to show it because I was like, oh, Interesting. Like, yeah, great influence to be around. He grabs something out of a bag, leans off of camera, sniffs, and then wipes his nose and goes, oh, my allergies, you guys. Unless he is wanting people to think he's doing it and not, like that's the only other explanation besides him doing it. Yeah, yeah, and I don't even know why he would want that. Yeah. Um, this is the rest of the clip we were watching, though. Do a wellness check on me. Oh, yeah, I did, Jeffrey. I was like- Thank you, baby. You wanna make sure he's okay, you know, like- don't, don't, don't shine it over here. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten it, like, in there. I'm definitely... Mommy might go water her plants have in it minute. all, like, mm -hmm. all close up so nobody can mm -hmm. see anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm just trying to find, like, wash my hands, like, with the makeup. Why would I mind? <laughs> you guys, Eugenia's too me. sweet. I was like, you... oh, but guys, what if, like, for some reason, like... Y'all stop trying to make her insecure. Now. She's known me for too long, okay? Yes. I I'll go have one of my assistants wash her hands for her. How about that? Oh my gosh, you're the best. Okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was even telling them just like how amazing you are. And Thank like, you. Did I cry? Okay. You're the best. Like seriously. My foundation. So, okay. I'll go, I'll go wash. All right. I'll talk to your chat. Yay. We'll do they a double. Be nice to Look, you. We'll do a double right Oh, now. I love it. You're like double 
alive. Yeah. That's the best. Cute. All right, baby. Yes. Okay, so. I would use the kitchen one because it's a mess. Okay. It's a mess in there, girl. Okay, and 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 I guess you don't mind if I kind of you know, you know, like go in there, you know, like. And get right. done. Thanks. Jeffrey, I'll be right back. You guys, does this robe look comfy? The material? Do you get the vibe that he's like not even paying attention to what she's saying and just oh, like Oh yeah, I was literally dismissive. just about to say, you know what's really healing? Being around someone who's so fucking egotistical that when you're speaking, they're just staring at themselves in a camera and looking at their hundred dollar robe. Like waiting for you to stop talking. Like literally, he's just like, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. Anyway, wow, I love this robe. Yeah, that's exactly what I need at the lowest point of my life and like when I really need help is Jeffree Star just staring at himself on a live camera. Are you fucking joking? Like, I'm just flabbergasted. The whole thing is just, it's gross and I don't get it. That's honestly all we know. He has not obviously given any information on like how he's helping other than just like, she's surrounded by me and that's the cure to everything. It's like, is it? I don't know. It, it's very disturbing. I honestly, it's such a hard topic to talk about because it's so easy to be seen like you're speaking about it in poor taste, but I genuinely do believe like the majority of people and certainly we are just like genuinely concerned for this person and have no idea how to help her. And even people who have been close to her in her real life and would regularly hang out with her in real life couldn't help her. So how the fuck is Jeffree Star just gonna like whisk her away to Wisconsin where is he? Wyoming. Wyoming. Who's like one of the W's. W's. How is he going to whisk her away there and all of a sudden she's going to be better because she's in his mansion? Like it's just, it's so sad because it's clear that again, it's another story of like someone having people around her who are just like constantly failing her. It's just, I don't know. Well, and it feels like typical Jeffrey where it's just like throwing money at it and thinking that makes it better. But shall we read the really fucking weird tmz article oh my god yeah that came out recently too this came out october 22nd and it's a tmz article that says youtuber eugenia cooney cops flooded with calls over skinny and frail appearance which that is not a new thing. I think people very often are making wellness checks and especially because people do think that the mom is somehow involved in facilitating or enabling this. But this article comes out and it says, influencer Eugenia Cooney's very thin physique has resulted in local police getting bombarded with calls and emails, but we're told the YouTuber isn't in any sort of danger. By who, you might ask? It goes on to say that concern for Eugenia's well-being ramped up in recent weeks after she posted TikToks of her dancing, with many in the comments focusing less on the moves and more on her appearance. A story came out about her sparking even more concern. The Gre Greenwich, Greenwich, whatever. Police Sergeant Brent Reeves tells TMZ. So first of all, why is the police sergeant speaking to TMZ? That's odd. And apparently what he tells them is calls and emails have been coming into his department about Eugenia from all over the world, even getting people calling from as far away as Egypt and New Zealand, which I mean, yeah, she's broadcasting live. It doesn't really matter who she's like people from all over are watching, so that makes sense. Then it says, we're told the callers are looking to make sure she's okay and isn't being forced by her mom to make content and keep up her appearance. A couple of things that Sergeant Reeves says are untrue. Even that, like, how do you know that? For I was sure. about to say, like, yeah, like just checking in on did her. Did you go first and of ask? All, like, I yeah, if you go to that situation and ask her mom and her and everything seems peachy keen, it's like, all right, well, our work here is done. Like, okay, no. Yeah, like that just feels off base. But then it continues to go on and says, Sergeant Reeves says he's known Eugenia for more than a decade and they have a good relationship. They even have a special code. She puts a certain object in her videos so he knows everything is all right. What the fuck are you talking about? First of all, Special code for what? What is she signaling? What I'm assuming is that they got so many calls that it was like, hey, leave a cup of milk. I'm just coming up with something random. On your nightstand when you're good or is it when they're not good that they put it out or she puts it out when she's good? I don't know. It doesn't specify, but I guess that may, would make a little more sense if it was like he contacted her and told her to do something to make sure she was okay. Because otherwise, Instead of that having is to go and check every single police, time, I guess. Exactly. It was like, is this police sergeant just religiously watching her lives to make sure that there's not the special code being used? I'm assuming it's like they get a call 
or an email. He goes to her live, sees if that object is there, and then is like, okay, well, she's fine. Yeah, the, the next sentence says, if that object isn't there, however, he'll know to get her help. My thing is, though, is that obviously she's not fine. Like, she may say she's fine. The mom may say she's fine. That's my thing with fucking police and mental illness and just all the lack of understanding in how to treat or get them to treatment. And I know it's tough when it's against someone's will, but this is, at this point, about saving someone's life. Like, this is we are watching someone pass away. And we've even seen there was a God, I cannot remember her name. But there was a Instagram person that she was a recovering like she had an ED and she was recovering and she was still in recovery and still passed away from her ailments from her ED. Like it just it messed up her body. It's a, a so lot much. of the time it gets to a point where it's past the point of no return. Yeah. And people do believe that Eugenia is at that point. And obviously nobody knows but a doctor that could like analyze her properly. But like, at this point, it feels like the damage is so far gone that if it's not irreparable, we're like right there. And I know that at, any treatment would be against her will at this point. I'm not saying like forcing her to get treatment is the right thing. I just don't even know what to do. All I know is that like making fun of it, platforming her more, acting like everything is like just fine. That is not the fucking way to go. Like I know that for sure. This is my problem with this article is I'm not saying that the police should be going and like putting her in handcuffs and bringing her to like a rehab set. Like that's not the answer. I don't, that's not possible. But when I read you this next sentence, the Sarge, the Sarge, first of all, like fuck off TMZ. The Sarge says, Eugenia has always been skinny, dot, dot, dot. Adding they can't really make her eat more if she's at the size that makes her comfortable. Why the fuck would you say that to, t like, why is the Sergeant commenting on this and making like on TMZ? What is going on? And then it says, he says she's of sound mind and always has a bubbly personality when he chats with her. Are you fucking kidding? The thing is that he could have easily said, like... No comment? Yes, he could have obviously said no comment. But if he was going to make a comment, he could have commented on the fact that, hey, I understand everyone's concerns. We hear you. We understand. Unfortunately, she is an adult. As long as she says she's okay, there's really nothing we could do further. There's other, you know, avenues that possibly could get involved, but that's not anything to do with us. No, anything. not this dismissive shit. No, like she's always been skinny. Motherfucker, we have the internet. Like we very much so know her like last decade of like statuses of where her body was. We've watched it happen, which is why everyone is so concerned. Because even if you don't follow Eugenia Cooney on a day-to-day -day basis, you've seen her go up and down over the years yeah. and not just in weight, just in everything, like her- Like behavior. Yeah, she genuinely does not seem well to me. Something so off and like fuck Jeffrey and Rich and everyone around her right now and this sergeant who's acting like, I, there's like in something's the police not off. And TMZ and like, I just don't get what's going on. And then the next sentence says, other agencies have checked on her in the past. What ag agencies of, what are you talking about? But we're told she's never met the criteria to force her to get any kind of help. Can you ever force someone to get help? Well, here's the thing. So I know with mental health crises, Baker acting is a thing. We've talked about that with FusiTube, where yes, you can be forced to get help. But this is tricky because a lot of people, myself included, would say, yes, you are a danger to yourself. Yeah, but I don't think it, it doesn't fall under the same criteria. I know. No, I know it doesn't. And I know it's not like black and white. I'm not saying like, yeah. oh, if someone showed up, because again, that's what Jacqueline Glenn and her friends tried to do, which was like, hey, this is an intervention. You need help. And kind of tried to push her into doing that. Although that didn't work, even though she did go into that rehabilitation center. Or I don't know what exact center she was in. And she did recover for a bit, which was apparently one of the most miserable times of her life. But like, I think that everything combined like live streaming mixed with her mental illness and everything that she's going through is such a recipe for disaster and has been this like perfect cocktail to just like plummet her downward like i don't know i feel like it's so bad for her that i do almost wish she was deplatformed so that she could have i mean it's not like her mom and like everyone around her are great people so i don't even know if that would work but like just to step away from it all that's the thing i'm like deplatforming her i don't think is like that's not the answer that's gonna no, fix everything. It's not. Cause clearly this isn't like a, she's not doing this just for the internet. No, I no, think the all. internet's exacerbating the situation. It's not she's violating terms of service. Like you can't just be like, you're not allowed to be on the internet because we right. don't like what you're doing when it's not something 
innately against what the platform allows, but it's just like, it's so complicated. And that's why it's so disheartening to see people like Jeffree Star and Rich Lux encouraging it. I don't even care that she has her platform. I think it's like the monetization of it all gives her this incentive to keep the, not, I'm not saying her ED has any correlation. I think she would have that one way or another. But I'm saying like the whole like flashing thing, the doing the weird like movements and showing her body off in really strange ways. I think that's all incentivized by like the money and the attention that it gets her. That I think that's the cycle that's like just made it extra toxic on top of what it already would have been without the internet entirely. But again, I think that Jeffrey and Rich probably behind the scenes feel like they are her true friends and are really helping her. But in my eyes, a true friend would do what Jacqueline Glenn did. And guess where that landed Jacqueline Glenn? Ostracized from ever speaking to Eugenia Cooney again. Like she does not have access to speak to her and Eugenia does not want to talk to her because she genuinely tried to help. I don't know what comes of this. I just know that like, I feel like that, uh, what is that audio? It's like, you can't keep getting away with this. That's how I feel about like Rich Lux and Jeffree Star. I'm like, why are you still allowed to be on live doing this with her? Go on live by yourself, get your thousands of dollars on top of the millions you already have because why not? And like, leave her out of this. Stop pushing this further than it needs to go. Like, I don't know. I just, ugh, I'm so grossed out by all of it. It's not even just that they're enabling it. It's that they're profiting off of it too. Right. Yeah, they are. And then in the meantime, they're probably like, well, no, we're not helping her too because she's making money too. It's not all about money. This has nothing to fucking do with money. I think the money's making it all fucking worse. But I just, ugh, I'm so grossed out. I know that this is like, honestly, this is why we didn't want to touch the topic. It, it's a lot. We don't have anything to act like. There's no final consensus of being no. like, this is what should, no, there's no answer. I don't think, but it's just so disturbing. It is. And it feels like not the right thing to do to not not talk about something that like fellow drama channels, if you want to put Rich Lux and us in the same category, Jesus, but like, if you want to, like he's in our community and he's doing this shit. Like, I don't feel right just being like, well, you know, that's weird, but don't want to talk about Eugenia. Like it feels so gross to even watch them speak and like Jeffrey's <laughs> admiring like, himself in the camera. Like, shit. like it makes me so mad. Like he, I just don't. I know. I know, he just seems like the absolute fucking worst. And if there's only one thing I know for certain, it's that Jeffree Star cannot help anyone. Oh my God. Well, and then also, not to go on a tangent, but guess who else is fucking covering her at nauseum? Because they needed a new cash cow. Oh, Joy Sparkles. You guys, Joy Sparkles has moved on to Eugenia Cooney and has made dozens of videos, and it's fucking disgusting. Oh, really? What is she saying? I honestly can't even watch them, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna guess, go out on a limb and say that they're not great. I'm just, oh, Jesus, Joy Sparkles. You are interesting. Anyway, well, that's it. Honestly, I wish we had a better conclusion, but honestly, there isn't one other than Rich Lux and Jeffree Star, you should be ashamed of yourself. And to Eugenia Cooney, I just, what can I do? Just wish the best for her and be concerned. Is there anything fun that you want to leave with? We could find a tra uh, Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey clip. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? You want to show the one of him falling? Okay, sure. <laughs> Honestly, the video of him like holding his arm around her waist, I was like, okay, I see you. Oh my God. Actually, I have a really funny one that we can watch too. All right, Lily, this isn't going to be 50 Taylor Swift. I know, clips. I know. No, no, she I gets know. too I know. excited. I sent this to Angelica, is a big fan of them as well. And I sent it to her. I said, I'm dead. This is my favorite take thus far because a lot of people keep saying it's a PR relationship. Maybe the last thing I'll post about the Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift courtship if you will, romantic intrigue, because I've seen a lot of people posting, they're saying things like, this is fake. This is a PR stunt. It's for the media. They're not really dating. Let me ask you something. Whomst among us would only begrudgingly date either of these two human beings? Who on the green and blue spaceship we call Earth would, would, would be approached by their agent and their agent's like, hey, we want you to go out on a couple dates with Travis Kelsey slash Taylor Swift. And their reaction is, ugh, fine. If it's for my career, I guess I'll, I'll slum it up. You know what I mean? Was like, oh, he's just the incredibly handsome six five millionaire, generational talent, best ever at his position in the National Football League. Okay, I guess I'll give him a shot, but I'm not, I'm not happy about it. Yeah, or the, the gorgeous billionaire-s who somehow manages to seem relatable even though she's selling out all 150 of her stadium concerts and literally milliseconds. Got people out here paying 25 grand for bootleg tickets. Ugh. If no one else is available, I'll give her a shot. 
You know what I mean? Maybe it doesn't work out. You know, maybe you don't continue to dating them. Maybe you don't get married. Maybe you can't handle the glitz, the glam, the hustle, the bustle. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But one date, two date, three dates? Baby, this is a PR stunt. You can call me Jackie Chan. You call me Tom Cruise. I'm doing all my own stunts right now. I'm a stunt man. I'm a stunt <laughs> now here. At this point, they've done so much together that like, yeah, there's no doubt that it's helping both of their careers. Um, but what's to say that it couldn't have been introduced as like, hey, you guys should hang out. It might help some things. Mm. And then, I don't know. I just, she's gone to so many games even at this point. Like, it's been a big time commitment. I, I think they're actually dating. I, I think that's pretty obvious at this point. Well, and then even the clip that uh, I'll play right now, it's super quick, that Jesse had sent me. It's of her at the game reacting to one of the plays that he falls. And it's like, she's a great actress. No, she was actually like shaking. They are just like fake dating. She was completely yeah. horrified and her whole life like flashed before her eyes. And also I just, the clips of him and his brother talking about it on the podcast, like it's just really it feels really genuine so if it's not then hats off they should both be a-list actors i know no i don't think they're acting and i do think it's cute i do I'll, I'll leave it at that yeah apparently in addition to her freaking out when he's falling apparently her being there has been like his yard average has gone significantly up so even the head oh coach my has god been like, stop uh, Travis just keeps getting better and better. Uh, Taylor can stay. Honestly, you know she feels real good about that. Whenever I used to date a guy in sports, I was like, please do better while I'm there. Please do what never happened. Well, like, his brother oh, brings okay, it up well, on the podcast and he's like, I don't know if you know, but your yard average has gone up every time Taylor's there. And he's like, do you think I don't know? <laughs> I hope it continues to go well and they just, I think it's really cute. Lily's watching closely, so we'll certainly know. I'm very invested. And honestly, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I like don't ever give two shits about celebrity relationships. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I don't know, I really like both of them. I'm happy for you and them. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, okay, that was a better note, though, to leave it off. I'll, I'll take that. Left us laughing, at least, yes. Yeah, we were, like, literally just so depressed before that, so great. That was great. So, yeah, that's it. Um, Thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll have a bit more uplifting of an episode next week, although the two topics that we're planning on covering are not... Not too bad, not horrible. They're not bad, but they're not particularly uplifting. There's rarely any uplifting ones these days. They've all got a tinge of shit. Yeah, that's true. But I'm um, always welcoming topics. So tweet me if yep. you have any uplifting ones or if you have any negative ones too, we'll do those too. But anyway, if you made it to the end, we appreciate you as always. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween weekend and we will see you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.